How are we going folks? Welcome back to another episode. This is part two to our fuel tank building. We covered off on a few things in the last episode. So if you want to catch up, go back and check that one out. As for where we're at with the fuel tank, we've got a forward bulkhead, an aft bulkhead. I've actually glassed in three layers of fiberglass and tabbing around the corners and edges. So the inside of the tank is completely glassed in. We've got a false floor in the bottom so we can drain uh, water from in front of the fuel tank back into the bilge well. And you'll notice here I've got our stainless work. So I've got a pickup line which is gonna come through that bulkhead to pick up fuel for the engine. I've got a rear breather which will come through um, the bulkhead here into this first compartment and I've got a long uh, front breather that will run the entire length through all the baffles to that front compartment. <clears throat> it's very important to have uh, two breathers to prevent any air locks but also when, you f when you're fueling up it just gives the boat, uh, the tank that ability to breathe and f fuel to fill and stop, um, stop that fuel bubbling up making that Bowser click off, which is rather annoying and slow. So today, what I'm gonna do is prep our baffles to go in the tank. So we've made the baffles in the last episode. Well, we've actually made our uh, material for the baffles in the last episode. So that that's, uh, consists of seven or eight layers of uh, fiberglass down onto malamine board. And what we're gonna do is make some profiles today for our six baffles and then <clears throat> we'll glass tops on them so there'll be a 90 degree top which will finish level with the top of the tank for the tank lid to sit down on. Now the tank lid also is going to be fiberglass and then the floor will sit on top of that so plenty of support around the tank if that makes sense. As for the inside of the tank and the finish, it'll just be uh, vinyl ester resin and I'll put uh, one final coat of wax resin over everything before we seal it up, which is going to cure all the fiberglass correctly. And that's basically it. Guys, um, there's uh, reputable manufacturers out there, boat manufacturers that do fuel tanks like this and I just think it's a great way to utilise the space between the stringers and, and the hull so you don't have any wasted space with an aluminium tank or anything like that or a stainless tank and in my mind it's kind of not bulletproof but it's if you do it right you're not going to have any troubles with this kind of tank so look personal preference whatever you prefer if you'd rather an aluminium or a stainless fuel tank that's totally up to you but this is my preference uh, in this boat and it's a lot cheaper because i can do it myself i can't actually weld stainless or aluminium all right Let's get stuck into it. Alrighty guys, so to knock these templates up, or profiles, I have used some cheap MDF, cut into strips, and I just cut them to size. Um, so measuring down, measuring across, and then you just form the shape um, that you want out of it, and glue it together with the hot glue gun. So now, that profile there uh, will be ready to chuck on the fiberglass board out uh, in the other room and we'll cut out our shape and then we can fine tune it from there. So relatively simple guys. And from here guys all we do is transpose um, the profile onto the glass mat and cut it out. Simple as that. the baffles cut now we're gonna make the 90 degree cap that'll run the top there and we'll glass that onto these sheets and then we'll glass the lot into the tank and then that'll give something for the lid to sit on and a bit of structural support for the floor as well through these trimmed them shaped them we've uh, roughed them up and now I've put holes in for the fuel to flow between the compartments now you notice I did a couple down the bottom there as well so the fuel can drain completely out of each void plan now is to uh, glass these baffles to the uh, 90 degree 
um, gusset or top cap, whatever you want to call it. And the way I'm going to do that is by hot gluing a 90 degree uh, block in situ, like so. And then we'll glass our edges this side in. Next, I'll be laying up the lid for the tank. So this time, I'm gonna use five layers of glass. So we'll do three layers of 450 chop and two layers of 450 double bias. And I think that's gonna be strong enough because it's got all that support underneath. Last night I stayed back a little bit later and finished glassing the baffles. So glassing the baffles. The baffles are just sitting in place, uh, roughly. It's not uh, exactly where they're gonna go, but it's starting to look like a fuel tank. Okie dokie, so I've given the tank a acetone wash and we have tacked in the baffles with blocks of timber. Now they're lining it up across the top on that side. This side, I've just dabbed a little bit of hot glue here and there, but this stainless pipe with a nice tight 13 mil hole is holding um, this side pretty well. And then you can see to get the 90 degrees, I've cut blocks uh, at 90 and hot glued them in, uh, which is gonna give us a perfect 90 degrees from there. And it's all ready to start coving in, throwing some a little bit of tabbing in there. Well, folks that's our baffles all tabbed in now I'm still gonna probably throw a fair bit of glass as mentioned before and amongst them but moving forward I'm gonna look at the plate we're using for to go through this arc bulkhead now what I've got and I've already manufactured is a stainless steel plate with uh, one large hole for the filler pipe three smaller holes for the breathers and pick up line now the six other small holes are just screw holes for it to screw to this um, bulkhead like so and that's where the all our lines will come in to pick up everything we need from there we are in look at this so there you have it we've got our rear breather our front breather and our fuel pickup line there and then we got the 50 mil uh, filler pipe. I just need someone to come and TIG weld all this for me and it's gonna have to be welded in place that's the tricky thing but um, I'm sure I can find someone skilled enough to do that. This is the inside of our pipe work now I'm just glassing that with uh, just chop strand mat. I did uh, a fair few layers there. This is the uh, waxed coat of vinyl ester resin inside the tank. This is gonna help the glass cure fully and allow the tank to hold fuel. Now I'm just sanding up the lid to the tank, just scuffing up that surface from the inside of the mold or the malamine surface, just to give the glass something to bite to when we glue it down. Okay guys, I've got the lid down and you can see I've just checked in around where I've left the thermalite a little bit high on each of the gussets and then I've also checked in the corners where the the stringer rolls down on each side. I've got batteries, some drums of foam ready for weight and I'm just about to prep the surface with acetone for gluing down. Now you can see I've glassed in that side of our pipework 
That's come off a tree. It's all ready to be welded on this side. So quick acetone wipe, mix up some glue, put the weight down, and then tomorrow we'll come back once it's all set and we'll grind, fine tune, grind our edges, give it a little bit of rounding on the edges, and then we'll glass it down each side of the stringers and these bulkheads. If you've got any questions, if I've missed anything in the video, I know I don't capture everything, um, but if you've got any questions, dump them in the comments below or send us a message on Instagram. So head over to that page, check us out where we do post some um, other content and that on there as well. But uh, yeah, flick us a message, any questions, suggestions even of how we could do things better. Uh, we're more than happy to take that on board. Guys, yeah, we'll go from there. So, all right, I'm really looking forward to getting this glued down. So I'm gonna get stuck into it. I'll whack this on a time lapse for you guys and away we go. it she's glued on I'll come back tomorrow grind those edges down and then we'll um, glass it down either side just to give it that perfect seal around the edges and uh, yeah then it's it's pretty much that's it it's done we just got to uh, weld on some fuel fittings on the end some fuel barbs and um, weld up around that plate and there you go that's a fuel tank for a six meter boat doing acetone washing everything I've given it a good sand as you can see so I went around with the grinder trimmed all the edges down and then I come back with the orbital and some 80 grit sandpaper and just scuffed up all the edges everywhere um, that we're gonna uh, glass to and also just put a nice uh, radius on all the corners on the way around so that glass really wraps around it tightly and nicely and, and bonds really well so the layup will be 450 chop, 450 double bias, 450 chop. There you have it. The fuel tank is now boxed up, sealed up, and we've just got a little bit of welding to do on the back, which can be done in due course. Guys, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, uh, and you wanna keep following this build, hit that subscribe button, and the notification bell will notify you uh, when we post videos. And also, just to let everyone know that subscribing to the channel is completely free. There's no costs involved with that. It's just a way of getting connected with us more and uh, allowing you to see our content at more frequently in your feeds and that. So guys, I'm gonna leave it there. If you have any questions, dump them in the comments or jump over to our Instagram and we can uh, answer any questions you have regarding this fuel tank. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.